Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. God bless you. How have you been? This is Blessing Ehia Gwina TV. It's a great channel full of God's word, prayers, prophecies, word of knowledge. We have it in the whole of the Bible on audio playlist. So please subscribe, touch the bell, stay with us. And to all my subscribers, I appreciate you. I love you. God bless you. Amen. Before I get started, I want to know I wrote a book last year, a book called Not of Them That Draw Back. Not of Them That Draw Back. Go to Amazon, Bars and Numbers, and search for this book, Not of Them That Draw Back, by blessing a Hiaguina. Hiaguina is spelled E H I A G W I N A. You see the book right there? Get a copy. Get a copy for yourself. It's a great book. You'll be happy with it. It's a book full of scriptures and testimonies that will build your faith up to get anything you are looking for from God without giving back on your faith. God bless you. You're welcome. It's on Amazon, Bass and Nobles, and on and iTunes. You're welcome. So today, I have God's word to share with you. And before I start, my subscribers, I appreciate you. God bless you. Everyone, keep on subscribing. Romans 5 8. But God demonstrates his own love for us in this where we are yet sinners, Christ died for us. Amen. I want to share with you today the essence of God's love for us, the way God loves us. Why we are yet sinners. We are not even changed. We are not even repent. We never told God that we are going to repent. He sent his son Christ to die for us. This is how much God loves us. So much. He was not waiting. Don't see this word they turn around before we and we help them. When we when the word was ye was yet in sin, one in sin, he sent Christ his son to die for us. And let me tell you, if you're adapting, it's not a mess story, it is real. Because even historians of years and years that were writing history books of many, many, many years ago that lived in the days of Christ. When they're writing the book, history, but they were not Christians, they were not preaching, they were not selling anything. Those men writing history books, they mentioned someone called Jesus Christ that came and that did miracles. And now those that were following him were called Christians. They mentioned in their historian books. So it is real. It's not a story. Hallelujah. So God so loved us so much that when the world was still wallowing in sin, the world has never told him, We're going to change, we're going to repent. They were saying, But he, he, the love was so much. He felt bad for the world he has made. He didn't want the world to, 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 be, to, to, be, to be doomed. He sent his son to die. I read one more time. Romans 5 8. But God demonstrates his own love for us in this. Why we were still sinners? Christ died for us. Amen. This is how much God loves us. How many of us can do that today? Today, somebody is even like uh, say sorry to us after offending us. We're still saying, No, I will not accept it. I will not accept it. We don't even say sorry. The world have not even done anything. Christ died for us. And if you are watching me today, you have not benefited from the death of Christ. But it was to say you don't believe in God, you don't believe in Christ. Today is the day. The Bible says, if you hear his voice, harden not your heart. Harden not your heart. Today, give your life to Jesus Christ. As you hear my voice now, when you do, you benefit from what he has done for you. So you will not have to die again for your own sins. When you do, we forgive you all your sins and wash you clean. And you live a clean life. The Bible says, if any man be in Christ, he's a new creature. All things have passed away. All things are now become new. Hallelujah. All things are now become new. Hallelujah. Therefore, as you hear my voice now, I'm going to lead you the prayer of salvation. Do not doubt. Say this prayer after me. Say, Lord Jesus, today I accept you into my heart. Be my Lord. Be my Savior. I believe you died for me. And you were buried on the third day. You rose up again from the dead. Lord Jesus, I'm now yours. God in heaven, thank you for sending your son to die for me. Thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. In the prayer of Satan was said by you, you are now born again. Start going to a Bible teaching church. And buy your own Bible. Study it. So you know God's word for yourself. So nobody can deceive you. And please subscribe to my channel. Touch the bell. Everyone. Please like the video and share this video. I will see you next time. God bless you. Bye.